Hey, the Oregon Ducks have landed in Seattle as the Washington Huskies face them in one of the biggest football games. The school rivalry has ever seen in more than 100 years, and it is a matchup big enough to get college game day's attention. Alyssa Charleston live at UW's Red Square with more details on today's matchup and all the festivities. Alyssa, how's it going down there? Well, Taylor, everything just wrapped up, and a lot of those announcers for College Game Day chose the Huskies, so it was a hostile environment for some of the Ducks. Right now, I'm in a hostile environment between some Husky fans and some Duck fans. First of all, I want to know where you guys come from, so we'll start with you. Where did you grow up, and how did you become a Husky fan? Yeah, I'm from Lakewood, Washington, so I got family back home in Tacoma, Port Orchard. If you're watching, hey, fam. My uh, brothers and I drove through the night from Boise. I'm an AD, shut down the football game and drove straight through the night to get here. Wow, love it. And where are you guys from? I'm from Issaquah. Okay, and you go to Oregon right now? I do, yes. What about you guys? I go, I'm from Issaquah as well. Okay. Don't go to Oregon. Okay. And then I'm from Montana, but this is my boy here, and so cheering for the Ducks today, baby. Let's go. Drove over here, drove over here for yeah, it. Yeah. So cool. I do have to ask, since Lee Corso picked the Huskies, kind of out of character, what did you feel about that? Clearly a fake fan. <laughs> He's always says he picks the ducks. Now he doesn't. Strictly business. He's a little scared. Strictly okay. business. <laughs> How did you feel about Corso Pick? Business. Hey, he's got every single one of them picked the dogs. They know what's going to happen today. So, what do you think about this atmosphere, though, having it on UW's campus when these teams are ranked seventh and eighth in the country? Yeah, I think the energy is going to be like Stanford back in 2016 today. It's going to be fun. And picks. Wait, let's go with picks. Who do you think is going to win? What's the score going to look like? Easily Oregon by a landslide. Okay. Oh, yeah. I think it's going to be Oregon all the way, but I think it's going to be a little bit closer, maybe like 33-30. Heard it here first. This is the first time both teams have been ranked in the top 10 where they've met on the same field in history. That's crazy because they've both been great programs. What do you feel about this Husky offense? How confident are you they can do it against the Ducks defense? They're going to have to hold hold up against their front seven today. I honestly think the difference is going to be the fans. I think the energy in the building is going to get them to win, probably by like three. How do you feel the rivalry in this between Oregon and Washington? Coach DeBoer, Kalen DeBoer called it a healthy hate. How do you feel about this rivalry? He articulated it beautifully. <laughs> that's, that's what it is. You no look, love for them. No you, love. you look like you're ready to play a game today. He's like focused, locked in over here. What about you guys? How do you feel about the rivalry between the Ducks and the Dogs? Oh, it's a great time. I always love uh, hating with my friends from UW, but they always tend to lose. So I, I, I feel like UW has the 70th ranked defense, and I think, honestly, the Ducks are going to dismantle them tonight. Wow. Where did, when did your hate for the Dogs start? As soon as I started my first day at the University of Oregon, baby. <laughs> I love how you just came into the interview, too. Let's Thank you for down. just appearing. Yeah. Appreciate that. <laughs> this is my boy, so, yeah. How excited has, do you think, like, I know you're from Boise, but yeah. the entire fan base of Washington, just with what Kalen DeBoer has done with this you can, program. You can feel it's palpable. You can feel it today. Like, this place is popping. It's going to be fun today. Score prediction. I need a score prediction. Yeah, I'm going to go. I actually think it's going to be like 32 to 29, something like that. Some field goals in there, um, but it's going to be whoever gets the most turnovers. Who is going to win the Heisman race between Penix and Bo Nix if it's down to them? Come on. Really? Tell me why, though. Penix. What, why? Because he's going to win like big games like today. Bo Nix okay. isn't. And ultimately, you got to win the big games to win the Heisman. He's going to win it today. Why do you think Bo Nix might win the Heisman? It's more consistent. When he's having a bad game, he can still make plays, whereas Penix, if he's off, he's off. Have you guys experienced um, any tough fans here with the Huskies? I know that it's an adverse environment, but this used to be a really hated rivalry, like almost violent. So how has the environment been for you since you've been in Seattle? It's been pretty easy. No yeah. trouble here. There's some people throwing bread at us, you know. Bread. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, yeah, that's how, that's how it goes. In Eugene, though, they're a little bit classier than they are in Eugene. <laughs> they threw bread at you guys. That is absolutely yes. hilarious. Okay, well, incredible atmosphere. Thank you guys for talking to us. We really appreciate it. Yes. Kickoff is at 1230. It's going to be a good one. This is going to determine part of the way on your way to the college football playoff. Both teams, if they can win, that's a big game on your resume. If you lose, honestly, I think you, both teams could probably still make a case to get into the college football playoff because the Pac-12 is so deep, but a lot of excitement here on Montlake. We're going to have a game recap for you tonight at 10 o'clock on Fox 13 News. From Montlake, from Red Square, with some Ducks fans, with some Husky fans, I'm Alyssa Charleston, Fox 13 Sports. Go dogs. Alyssa, I love the energy. It's so good. Go dogs. <laughs>